hello everyone this is another about this tutorial in this tutorial we are going to discuss dynamic uh, with static analysis um, so there is a question when we should use static and when we should uh, use uh, a dynamic analysis uh, so when you use dynamic analysis the time of analysis will be a larger or more and it's actually a little uh, costive than, than a static analysis and the second thing is and uh, some projects uh, require uh, to use dynamic analysis in case uh, if you require a large nonlinear displacement in in specific model so then you should use dynamic analysis and in some other uh, cases then you can use static uh, but generally when there is a dynamic behavior or impact uh, behavior on on, on a specific uh, model then you must consider dynamic in other ways static is much more economic and but what's the difference uh, between static and dynamic in finite unit analysis so the major part is the considering uh, matrices so in static uh, analysis uh, program will create the stiffness matrix and then solve the problem for you but when dynamics comes and the program will create a mass matrix and then solve uh, the model based on the mass and also based on the uh, stiffness matrix so this is two major problem but uh, the most important is that you should uh, control the time in case if if you if you're loading loading the system is uh, slowly applied to the structure then or some element then you consider it static and in case if there is uh, some uh, speedy uh, applied load or impact load then you can consider dynamic so as example we're going to do uh, linear and uh, uh, linear dynamic analysis and linear static analysis in this uh, truss element. So we have a, a simple truss element, one meters, one meters, and we want to. Uh, we have already created two model, and the model is we call explicit and standard. So the standard is static, standard, and this is explicit. Now uh, the properties is same, but in case. Uh, we uh, conduct uh, now it's standard so we don't re uh, require the, uh, st the density because when we keep density the program will create the, st the mass matrix so if you don't give in a dynamic uh, density so the program is it, it's it we cannot uh, uh, form the uh, mass matrix so okay and we also come back to the explicit and you can see the same material but his density is given here now the first uh, part was here you have to uh, define the uh, density for the program and the second come to the step and it's explicit and you should arrange the time so that this is a uh, static actually there is no movement so the time period can be uh, 0 0.1 second or maybe it can be one second is also uh, because it's static so the movement is uh, cannot be very clear or so it's very least now it's okay and the, the same thing standard uh, we don't need require that time so we selected a static linear preparation and do not need required using time in case of using the general then you can uh, give one second two second five second so that the, the, the uh, procedure is same now we go to the analysis everything is the same and we go to analysis we created two uh, frame one is standard one is explicit and we're going to submit the model and the second one was submit the first one is starting then we can uh, after the analysis completed we will see the speed of of the analysis and also the results yeah the first one is completed the uh, st standard the explicit is still running and now it's both completed we're gonna go to the monitor and we want to see the submitted was uh this time and the completed is the, this time so imagine about uh, 30 seconds 
33 seconds. So we go back to the uh, explicit monitor. Uh, here you can see. Uh, yeah, submit it in this time. 49, 49, and 49, 18, almost the same. You see 30, 30, this 18, and it's 30. almost uh, 30 seconds, uh, 0 0.30 seconds, and 0 0.30 seconds. So, uh, in case if you control that, that uh, the time period, so the program will uh, do it fast for you. Now, we, we go to the check the results. We're going to go to the result from the standard. And we can uh, we can create one more uh, uh, viewport, and we're gonna use this one. And the first one we come back here, and this is we called you can see uh, standard light load, and we we check this one, and we go to back to the job, and this time we wanna bring the dynamic analysis. So this is the dynamic analysis, and in in both case we want to see the displacement as example in, in displacement in the in this here and uh, we want to measure it uh, we can use uh, the vertical displacement and also the same things here or i can connect both them and doing the same for both of them so now uk2 and then i'm going to view port here and then uh, legend i'm going to use fixed number applied and uh, here, uh, the more thing I'm going to activate this one. It's called maximum or minimum. Because it's a negative, we use minimum. So it's called limit. And I'm going to use show, show. So the max is zero because uh, it's going to down. It's a negative. Apply. And you can see here the difference. So the difference is uh, uh, 0 0.03 and 0 0.05 now in case if you uh, compare with the result this static analysis is close uh, with the hand uh, calculation because uh, it's in in, re in practice in reality this was a static analysis so we use dynamic so this is a uh, very a huge gap in case if you uh, have a, a curve um, it will be 30 percent or uh, less than the static analysis so this was the uh, tutorial on uh, dynamic and static if you have any question please put in the comment we'll find time to answer you thank you for watching see you next time